What's up my fellow Swifties? Uh, today we're going to uh, create a sandbox user for our app. So basically, um, so in order to test your in-app purchase on, uh, you have to have your own device. So you test it on your own personal device. Doesn't matter if it's like a iPhone 3 or an iPhone 10s like it, it doesn't matter um, and you also have to create a uh, sandbox account now in order to do this um, and to do in-app purchases anyway you have to have a uh, Apple developer account it's $99 a year you sign up on the developer website so just saying you know letting you know all of this in advance now let's get started with our sandbox users in here uh, see we're in App Store Connect it's appstoreconnect.apple.com and uh, I'm going to go into users and access and on the left sidebar here it's going to say testers under sandbox I'm going to click on that I'm going to add one and you have to put in all this information um, so I'm just going to put testy test face <laughs> and the email it's going to be an email that I created just to test things you do have to give a unique email and uh, a good password which is kind of annoying but you know Apple security feature stuff um, and you have to do this every time you add a sandbox user so my secret question is going to be why do I need this answer is going to be you don't <laughs> and then for my birthday just put some random stuff here United States. Make sure that's in the mine's in the United States because I'm here, uh, but wherever you're at, make sure it's in that area and it links up to your app. What uh what country you set the app up in? Now um, now that I have this, I'm going to go into my phone and we're gonna we're gonna actually go to Xcode and run the app, the in-app purchase demo app that was in our last video. Um, and we're going to run that and then I'm going to show it on the screen right here and we're going to go and we're going to click purchase and it's going to ask that you sign in so you want to sign in with the uh, the account that you just created Sometimes it, it's finicky, so I'm going to go in and I'm going to delete the in-app purchase demo app. And I'm going to go into Xcode and I'm going to reinstall the app. So now here it is again. I'm going to hit purchase. And it's going to ask for the password. We're going to put that in one more time. And then your purchase was successful. It's going to say uh, environment sandbox. So make sure it says environment sandbox when you're putting in all this information <laughs> or you're going to end up paying for your own in-app purchases. Um, but yeah, that's it. It's uh, pretty, pretty straightforward. Um, and there's one more thing I wanted to add. Now, um, so how do you check uh, if you have a sandbox user? And that's by going into your phone and going into settings and then I'm already there, but you go to uh, scroll down to iTunes and App Store, and you want to scroll down to the very bottom, and it'll have your Sandbox account right there. Uh, you can click on it to sign out, and sometimes you might need to sign out because a uh, an in-app purchase that you made, you may want to make again in order to test a new feature or something like that. But yeah, I hope you found this informative. Um, stay tuned for the next part, which is uh, restoring purchases, and yeah. If you have any questions, hit me up on Twitter at Miles of Tweet. Love to hear from you guys and have a good day.